Okay, I'll read you this one. <laughs> it's called Unloving Your Demon. And I, I wrote a series of, of poems like this uh, in April for something called National Poetry Writing Month. Uh, and the challenge, I guess, was to write a poem a day for the entire month. So it's a lot harder than it sounds. Uh, and uh, I came up with some weird stuff. You'd think that eventually a person would run out of sick ideas. It doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't know. This was kind of goofy anyway. Uh, it's called Unloving Your Demon. To calm the beast, manipulate the tuft of unnaturally soft fur in the velvety black groin between the horns until his dangerous spikes soften in their fleshy ossicones. Then, continue to stroke the hefty but unerect protuberances, and while it will be difficult to resist the lure of his love while you kiss his black lips and explore the hot darkness and taboo flavors of his evil mouth, you must remain focused. Grab an antler in each hand and twist them off in one swift breaking of the bread motion. It will devastate him in agony, and he may snap and bite for a while like a cornered jackal. But on the other side of his pain, you will find your lover restored, dispossessed of his lust, and cowed in his admiration, pleased by the liberation of his burden for long enough to obey you. And while it is true that eventually the horns will regenerate and flute out above his head in strangely twisted directions, darting the air as if to stab the world with his head-borne scimitars, pay no heed. He cannot deny your caress, and your patience will outlast his lust with your steely determination. And soon your collection of horns will grow, the passing of time allowing you to harvest enough ivory lumber to complete his bony prison cage, in which he will be nothing more than a trapped animal. You are then free to leave his plane, and he will remain behind, twisting uncomfortably in his lonely cage as the horns on his head grow on and on, year after year, arcing around the space of his cell until one day he awakens to find they've impaled him.